What about this? A $3.5 million robot to assist with keyhole surgeries <laughs> has arrived at Cosford Hospital. Wow. So if you go there and you see R2-D2 just fanging around the corridors. Just lining you up, running at you with a scalpel. <laughs> it could be operating on you. Is that to benefit? I wonder if it's like Terminator when it does a little eye scan. <laughs> yeah, that's, mate, that's how it's yeah. getting. Is this patient 306? <laughs> Let me have a look. <laughs> how is it going to work? We've got Matt Kelly from Gosford Private Hospital. G'day, Matty. Hey, Matt. G'day, Paddy. G'day, Rob. How are you both? Not too bad, mate. How high tech is this getting now, mate? Oh, yeah. This is this is one of the highest pieces of tech we now have at Gosford Private Hospital. Absolutely. It's, it's called incredible. the so, Da Vinci 11. Yeah, it's actually the Da Vinci XI, which is uh, uh, given to us through a company called Device Technologies made by a company called Intuitive. So, yeah, it's arrived just last week. So we're very excited to have it on site. Oh, does it talk? <laughs> no, and it doesn't make coffee either. Right? Oh, dear. Oh, oh, it's gone. It's gone. How are you so, supposed to get through a surgery? <laughs> you, you, you don't get much for three and a half million. But, yeah, it's uh, it's an amazing piece of a technology that um, is going to provide the surgeons on the Central Coast and patients on the Central Coast uh, a much more advanced uh, surgical technique that they, at the moment, they'd have to travel to Sydney or to Newcastle yeah. for, Hang on. So to does it access to this. Does it assess and help with the surgery or is it the actual, does the surgeon become a backup tool? No, no, it's a, it's a, it's more like a surgeon assist tool, Rob. If you think about it like this, the, the, what, what the robot does is enables very small surgical instruments to get right inside to the patient through very small cuts. So the uh, surgical scar is, is a lot smaller than it would have been for an open procedure. Yeah. And uh, and then the the cameras that are on the the robot then provide the surgeon a three dimensional high definition view of the surgical field, yeah. and then the 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 instruments itself are controlled uh, by this intuitive technology from the surgeon console to the patient console that then enhances the surgeon's uh, hand movements to be at a greater range of movement than a normal hand would do Jeez. and uh, very fine surgery. So okay. it's it's amazing technology. Matty, what if in a, you're just ready to do that real vital piece of surgery. And you got the shakes. And, and no, someone kicks the cord. <laughs> 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 what? Someone put that back in. <laughs> Got backup batteries, of course. Backup batteries. Yes, uh, we have a few safety procedures right, okay. in place to prevent that sort of thing, Paddy. Yeah. Well, just asking. I'm just asking. Yeah. I'm imagining it's got a much steadier hand than our Dr. Basil. He, dr- <laughs> he drinks a bit of rum, our Dr. Basil. Yes, absolutely. And we're going to have surgeons from a whole range of specialties using this. It's not just a, a single specialty robot. So we'll have surgeons from urology, general surgery, colorectal surgery, cardiothoracic surgery, gynecology, all being able to use this for patients on the central coast. And when does Da Vinci uh, XI, the three and a half million dollar robot, uh, when does it start work? So what we're doing at the moment is building a, a robot-specific theatre at Gosford Private. Um, we're having to commission that theatre and have our first patient in that operating room for, uh, the week beginning the 9th of August. So there's a bit of training and, and set up to do yet, but um, very, very soon we'll have our first patient done. Oh, wow. <laughs> My knee's feeling a bit sticky. I might sign up to have a go. <laughs> yeah, why not? Bring it on down, Rob. Mate, what about all with all other you know staff, they have performance reviews. Views. Will Da Vinci be in there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, why not? With a support person? <laughs> da Vinci, there's something we've got to tell you. <laughs> oh, mate, that is, all right, all right. Oh. Now, mate, that is, that is really good news, mate. Technology hasn't the operating, we, uh, you know, the operating theatre, just operations in general and medicine just come such a long way. Oh, it's amazing technology. Now, this is actually the second type of uh, robot that we have at Gosford Private. We do have a an orthopedic robot uh, called the Mako robot, which we've had a few years now. And um, the 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 adaptability of technology into providing excellent medical care is fantastic. Wow, that's oh, really good geez. stuff, mate. Really well, good stuff. One robot kneecaps him, the other one <laughs> fixes it up. <laughs> yeah, Matty Kelly from Gosford Private Hospital. Thanks for joining us this morning, mate. No worries.